Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the interaction points, uh, how they work, the settings and all of that stuff. So we'll start off by looking at our AI settings for um, the interaction point. So we'll just select one of our AI, go to our AI component and I'm going to search for uh, interaction points. Oh, points sorry. Um, and then straight away, like the other behaviors, we have our um, interaction point anims. So if you want specific animations used only when the AI's in activation point, um, you can enable that here. And then you can set all of its animations in this uh, struct here. Um, next up, we have our um, specified interaction points. So there's two ways to tell an AI um, what interaction points you want to use and just as just to let you know these are the interaction points here that you can see in our level um, so there's two ways to tell an AI to use those um, the first is specifying one so in here you can see I've manually specified uh, the interaction points that the AI is going to use so I've told him you're using this one this one and so on so that's one way you can do it and you can just add a new one here I can click little dropper you can select an interaction point to add it. Um, or you can set um, interaction point tags. So what that will essentially do is um, you can add a tag to your interaction point, say um, AI1. And then I can also add AI1 here. And what that will do is it will um, find any interaction points with that tag within this interaction point range. Um, and then it will use it will use it. Um, so they're the two ways to get the AI to actually use an interaction point. So I'm just going to hide those a second. Um, we've got use between interaction point behavior. Um, if that's enabled, basically once uh, our AI is finished using an interaction point, um, he will go into Rome because I've got that set here. Um, you can set it into any behavior you'd like. Um, and he will roam for 10 seconds. Um, and that's pretty much it. We've got our interaction point reaction settings. Um, I have a separate video on reaction settings, so if you need to know about that, um, you should check out that video. But these are the interaction point reaction settings for that behavior. Um, so next, we're gonna actually take a look at our interaction point. So there's quite a few settings on here as well. So now I've got my interaction point selected here. You can just go through the settings uh, in here. So our first ones are our animation settings. So we've got the order anim our animations play in, so random or in order. Then we've got our interact animations. So these are the animations that will play when the AI is using this interaction point. So you can see I've only got one set here and that's the hammer. Um, uh, so you can add more, remove them and so on. Uh, and then we've got our start animation. This will always be played, will be the first animation played. So you can see I've got the equipped hammer, so he gets out his hammer and then he starts doing his hammer animation. Uh, we have an, an end animation as well, so if you wanted to have the hammer him put it away, you could do that. Um, we've got use target location. Um, what that basically does is, um, Sometimes AI, when they're trying to get to a, a position, so something like this, um, it can struggle a little bit and it doesn't always get perfectly at the location you want. Um, that's just because of how nav meshes work, um, along with collision and things like that. Um, so target location, basically, with this enabled, once our AI stops to use this, um, if he's not where we need him to be, the target location will move him to this position, so you can see the little uh, icon we have here, um, so that he's we know that he's in the right place to play his animation. Um, so that's what use target location does. Um, then we have loop animations, so that's basically um, if you have this set to in order, once he's finished this animation, if there's none left to play, if loop animations is true, he'll loop through them again. Um, then we have animation location speed. 
that's basically the speed of which um, the AI will be moved to the target location. Um, then next we have our interact time. Um, so this is the amount of time the AI will use the interaction um, point. And then our variation, so it adds or minuses to give some randomization. Um, next, uh, we have the debug settings. So you can see um, I'm kind of, right now I'm previewing this animation at the target location. So you can see I can um, select our target location here and I can adjust his position. I'll just turn off grid snapping. And I can adjust his position and location like that. Um, and this basically just allows you to see how your AI will look um, when he gets moved to our target location. So that's very useful. Um, and uh, you can change those um, settings here. So you can change the animation. Um, by default, I've just got sit on at the moment. And then you can enable it or disable it. Um, so that's pretty much all the settings. Um, Hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, feel free to leave a comment. Um, don't forget to join our Discord. And uh, thank you for watching.